I'm a City of Hartford fireman, a Army National Guard soldier, combat veteran, and basically talk about my father and what he did for me or how he influenced my life. Basically, my father wasn't really in my life, but he motivated me to, to be better for my mother because I saw all the pain and the suffering he caused upon her. So that made me stronger for her. It made me a better man in that aspect. But I can't say he did give me certain, um, how can I put it, certain goals that um, I wanted to attain. And certain way I did want to be like him. And in fact that we both are electricians. He's a very, very um, well-known electrician in my trade. So whenever we will go to jobs, you know, um, of course, he retired before I got on as an electrician, but a lot of guys praised my father. And I never really understood why they would praise him when all I had to, to say about him were negative things. But I never was a person to, like, badmouth anybody. So I never really, like, you know, told my side of what I thought he was. I always agreed with him. Like, yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. So I guess in that way, I showed respect for him and honor. I never would badmouth him in front of anybody. Um, so I did, I can't say he did give me the opportunity to learn a trade, which a lot of kids nowadays don't have. You know, um, being raised by a mother who was both mother and father to me, I learned how to take care of people because it was just her and my sister. So him not being around showed me how to be a man at a young age and a protector because I never wanted anybody to make any person in my family sad. I guess that pushed me to join the military because as a soldier, you're, you're sworn to an oath to protect your country from uh, all enemies foreign and abroad. So I guess that sense of protection that was instilled in me at a young age from my father not being there pushed me more toward being in the military because I wanted to protect other people. And I didn't want people to ever feel neglected or unprotected when you know, God gave me the strength and the know-how and the willingness to do so. So it always pushed me to do that. And I guess in a way, it pushed me to be a city heart for firemen as well because a lot of kids don't have role models that they can look up to. Luckily, when I was growing up, I lived in a good neighborhood and uh, off of Blue Hills called Hebron Street. And on Hebron Street, you know, it was a bunch of older guys, you call them OGs. And um, they're about like five or six years older than me. And they always like kept me out of trouble because they know how my father was, they knew he wasn't around. So they kind of like took me under their arms when you know, my mom, she worked two jobs, she worked third shift. So just me and my sister at home at the school. So a lot of the older guys kind of like kept watch on me, make sure I wasn't getting into any craziness. So um, I grew up in a, in a decent area. So I always, you know, kids don't have that opportunity, they don't have that option sometimes. So me being a CR for firemen, I kind of pride myself to do events like this, to show that, you know, men can be strong role models for other men. And I want the kids to look up to me, because I have a 17-year-old son, and I want my son to look up to me and know that, you know, his dad is doing something positive. So hopefully he can follow in my footsteps um, and be better, definitely better. But um, yeah, I guess I could say my dad kind of made me into being a better father, I guess. I mean, I know it's not all his fault because growing up in Jamaica, being a Jamaican immigrant, he probably grew up tough too. So that kind of taught me empathy because I, I will always blame him for stuff, but you really can't blame people um, for being a product of their environment. He didn't know, he probably wasn't loved like that. You know what I'm saying? So. I kind of, I forgave him a long time ago, even when he passed away, like two years ago. I didn't really like, cry. My mother did, and I didn't really understand why she was crying. And I'm like, why would you cry for a person like that? But um, she broke it down to me. She was like, regardless of what he did to you, what he did to me, he still is your father. And he still gave me you. And um, you know, when you think about it like that, you know, no matter how bad a person is, you know, you still are a part of it. 
And it's up to you just to make your own footprint in the world and don't be a product of what he was. So um, that's really it. Um, I just hope that my son understands and learns the opportunity he has when he becomes a father far, far time from now. Um, I wish that he can um, you know, be better than I was with him because um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a upward, it's an uphill battle to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, we have to be better because it, this generation is getting tougher and tougher. It's harder to be um, morally stable nowadays. So as a parent, our jobs are real. It's really tough and it's hard. So I just hope I did a good job with my son and my daughter.